In the previous video, we talked about Mohr's sort algorithm. We did a dry run to understand it. Let us now do analysis of Mohr's sort algorithm. I have drawn here a sample recursion tree to get an idea how to compute the time complexity. The idea that we are going to use to compute the time complexity is this. We are going to compute the work done at every level of this recursion tree and then we are going to do sum of all the work done, right? So we are going to sum all the work done at every level. Here I've taken a simple example, L is 0 and R is 7. You compute the mid, mid is 3, then you recursively call from 0 to 3, 0 to L to M, then you call from M plus 1 to R, right? And this further makes calls for Z L to M, which is 0 to 1, and M plus 1 to R, which is 2 to 3, right? So all these calls happen this way. Now, how much work we are doing at every level? In the main function call from 0 to 7, or we can say for n elements in general, what we do is we recursively call from 0 to n by 2, then n by 2 plus 1 to n, right? So this is how we make the recursive calls. And then we merge whatever we get from these two recursive calls. So how much merge process takes? It takes theta n time, if there are n elements in total to be merged, right? So you're making two recursive calls, you will compute their execution time in the next level, but how much work you are doing in this level, apart from making the recursive calls, you do theta n work. So how much work you do in this level, you do theta n work in this recursive call to merge these sorted arrays. These two recursive calls gave you two sorted arrays, and then you merge them in theta n time. Now, how much work you are doing in the next level? So this level is going to do theta n by 2 work, right? Because it is of size n by 2. It's going to merge two arrays of size n by 4, n by 4. This level is also going to do theta n by 2 work. So theta n by 2 plus theta n by 2 is theta n. So this level is going to do theta n work. How much work this level is going to do? It's going to merge arrays of n by 8, n by 8, and it's going to form an array of size n by 4, right? This, this is also n by 4, this is also n by 4. So this march will take theta n by 4 time, theta n by 4 time, theta n by 4 time, theta n by 4 time. So this is going to be theta n work. How much time this takes? If you see the last level, last level is going to simply make one one recursive call. These all recursive calls are simply going to get check this condition and going to get out of this recursion, right? So all of these recursive calls are going to do theta 1, theta 1, theta 1 work. And how many recursive calls we have at the bottom? We have n recursive calls. So it's going to be theta 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is theta n. So we are doing this much work in the uh, sort. We are doing theta n work at every level. Almost same work at every level. Now, can we figure out how many levels are there? So if I know that there are x levels, then my time complexity is going to be x into theta n, right? If the number of levels is x, and if every level I'm doing theta n work, then how much total work I'm doing? Theta n, theta n, theta n, sum x times, right? So which is x into theta n. Now what is x? How many levels we have in this recursion? x is equal to theta log n. If you see this example, n is 8. And how many levels you have? You have log base to 8 plus 1 levels. Right? These many levels you have. 3 plus 1, 4. Right? If you take n equal to 16, then you will have, you know, one more level. Right? So if you are multiplying n by 2, your number of levels are being increased by 1. That's why we have log n factor. In case of 16, you will have all these and then you will have one more subtree of same size and then one more level, right? So it's log n, it's growing logarithmically. For 16, you will have five levels. For 32, you will have six levels. What about if n is not a power of two? I have taken here an example of seven elements. How many levels you have? You still have four levels. This part is empty. Right, you're still doing theta n work at every level. There are seven elements being merged at every level. So you're still doing theta n work and you still have four levels. 
so we can say it's ceiling of log 27 right it's ceiling of log 27 that much work we are doing that those many levels are there when n is not a power of 2 so in general we can say ceiling of log 2n but in general it's theta log n right all these things can be written as theta log n you know theta ceiling of log 2n can also be written as theta log n so the time the number of levels we have is theta log n so what is the overall time complexity theta n log n so time complexity of Mars thought is theta n log n let us now analyze auxiliary space requirements for that we need to look at the march function you know march function that we discussed it was needing theta n auxiliary space what it was copying what it was doing it was copying the left half into a left array right half into a right array and then it was merging them so march function has theta n requirement now you might wonder you know if i have theta n requirement space requirement at every level right theta n space will be required by here theta n space by here theta n by here theta n by here why am i not saying that auxiliary space is theta n log n why am i saying that it's big o theta of n please think about for a moment you know theta n space is required by this much theta n space by this much theta n space by this much why the overall space is not theta n log n why is it theta n the point is at any moment in RAM, you will need theta n space only. Because when you are calling this march, this gets over and then this march is called. So the space allocated for this is deallocated, right? When this gets over, space allocated for this is deallocated. And then this recursive call is made. And once these two recursive calls are over, space allocated for them is deallocated, right? That's how march function works. In fact, you can just create one left and right arrays and can use them in all the recursive calls. You can optimize allocation and deallocation in the march function when you are implementing march sort. This is not the only optimization in march function. There have been many optimizations. In fact, people have come up with a march sort algorithm that works in big O of one auxiliary space. It still has theta and log and time complexity. But those are advanced versions of march sort.